Hi everyone, this is Emily and we're going to review one of the assessments you all took earlier in the year. Hopefully you remember the vertical ball screw application. At the end of this assessment, we were looking to see the motion profile that you used. For the velocity path, your motion profile should have looked like this. For the perpetual group, your profile should have been similar, but with the force unapplied here. We got a range of answers, usually with downward motion of the ball screw simply not being reflected in the tool. And I think because of the decision not to worry about the downward motion, the full profile was often truncated to just one to just one one-third trap representation. For the perpetual group, the force was often removed later than it should have been. I received answers similar to this a lot. And while the argument can be made that for the application that is acceptable, we do need to talk about why it is technically wrong. Aside from the motion working backwards here, it should perform the negative velocity move first. The main issue is that the thrust force is applied on the positive velocity of the move. In other words, the force is being applied while moving upward in the vertical application. The significance here is that it means you have an extra force you're working against, gravity. Applying it in the appropriate area, the traverse of the negative velocity, you are working with gravity. Again, I'm sure there is debate whether it matters in this application or not, but this assessment wasn't about the application itself, but the skill of manipulating motioneering and the understanding that if you add force into a move, namely gravity, that isn't there, you could oversize the motor. There are applications that this would make a huge difference. So while programming the drive and having the profile look like this may not be a big deal, sizing it in motioneering could be. Motioneering is not drive software, it's sizing software. Up is up and down is down. We're just going to quickly show how you can provide for a downward motion on a vertical application in motioneering. Starting with application data already in motioneering, we're going to look at the motion profile options. As you can see, we have these quick start profiles, the triangle and trap, which most of you used. You can use these as well to get downward motion representative for a vertical application, but we're going to create a custom profile by clicking on the custom profile button. So we'll start by adding a one-third trap, and as this note here states, we're going to change the velocity to a negative value in order to represent the ball screw moving downward. In this screen, we can accomplish this by making the displacement negative, but watch as it changes the velocity to a negative value as well. The reason we are representing the downward motion is because in more advanced applications, you could incorrectly size the motor. For example, in this application, as you apply the force, you're working with gravity. If you apply the force with the upward stroke of the ball screw, you're fighting gravity. It's your choice to decide if you feel it's necessary to represent this downward motion, but you should be aware that you can do it. So now we just add the second one-third trap, making it look like the exact opposite of the previous trap. And now we'll add the force in, and you'll see how the motion profile should have appeared in your answer. Now for the perpetual group. We asked you to remove the force in mid-deceleration which in motioneering means you'll need to split this leg of the trap into two, or rather, you'll need to adjust the segments to represent a split. Don't forget to add the dwell back in. Finish the rest of the motion profile. Finally, add the force in on the correct segments, and this is what the custom profile is for, for you to build the profile as you need to. This concludes how to set up a custom motion profile and negative velocity. A version of this video is also on YouTube should you need to review it later. Thanks for watching.